This is an Orsonic 150. They also have one that's called 145. Looks just about the same, but a little bit smaller. And I've heard from some colleagues, fellow acousticians, that not everybody likes these new meters. And why could that be? Well, I have a guess. If you're one of those who have tried out these meters and you didn't fancy them, maybe you should give them another shot because it might be this little thing that some sometimes when you're out in the field and doing measurements, if, you, if you're just measuring sequentially, you do, let's say you're going to measure impact sound isolation. You move your hammer around and you measure it and then you do the reverse time and you evaluate. And then you move to the next room, you do the same thing and to the next room and you do the same thing. So you do every measurement procedure in one project file on the meter and then you move on. Then you won't encounter this problem. But sometimes, if you're in a noisy building site, you might want to do all the impact sound measurements as a sequence. Maybe you're going to measure eight apartments and you got uh, 30 minutes. If you're two people, one is moving around the hammer machine and the other one is doing the measurements, you, you, I think you could pull it off in 30 minutes because it's super fast. And then you do the, the measurements that are sensitive for background now. So you can just bam, 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 bam. You hammer like crazy and you got eight project files. And then here's the problem that I encountered personally as well back in 2019 with the older firmware is that when I did that and then I was going to import reverberation time measurements and, and do all of those in another sequence and just put it all together. You could not do that back then with the old firmware. But I, I just contacted, talked with them, and uh, I suppose other people might have pointed out this little issue. They listened to the feedback, and they implemented a fix. And from, I think it was around 2019, 2020, with the newer firmware, the problem is solved. So now I always do like that when I'm out measuring, because you want to minimize the... It, at least I do. Not <laughs> so minimize the number of times you have to carry equipment between different stories and when you have to jump around different settings in your mind. Now, it, it, there is, I, I can think it's a bit diff easier if you're going to do impact sound. You just focus. Okay, I'm going to measure impact sound in these five apartments. And then you do only that. And then you're in like impact sound mode. Okay, now I'm done. Now I switch to reverberation time mode. And then you just bam, 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 bam. You do all of those. And the reverberation time measurements are not sensitive to background noise. So they, you could you can pull them off while the construction workers are going on in the background. It's no wor no problem. But impact sound is another issue. Then you have to be it has to be quiet, otherwise you will get problems with your measurements. So Oh, that's just a long rant here. But anyways, personally I think this is after the fix. This is the best sound meters I've ever used. I really, really like them, and they, they definitely moved my measurement game to the next level, and it feels like this is just this little Wi-Fi connector thing is so good because it also it, it's a safe way, so when you're at the building site and you're done, I just pull out my laptop, transfer, bam, and it's in the cloud, and uh, all the measurements are safe. And I also use it to name the files in this... Uh, I could do a video about that perhaps later and show you how it looks like. When I do a measurement, I can... I basically write the measurement protocol while I'm on site and I write it in this one. I don't... Previously, I used to have like Excel docs on my laptop or a paper and pen and writing it. So, But if you want to do that, that's just fine. But nowadays, I, I, I do it in, in inside the meter because I think that helps the evaluation later on. So, yes... If you were one of those who was skeptical about these two meters, 150 and 145, maybe you should consider giving them another shot because I think they are great, great, great. And they're getting greater as well with the coming updates, of course. See ya!